Welcome to Sculpture Studios. If you've ever had a moment to take a look at our client list on our website, companies like Umbro and Nike are amongst the larger sports brands that we've made sculptures for in the past. So you can imagine our delight when another project came in with that glorious Adidas logo featured on the concept image. First of all, apologies for the pronunciation. I know many people over here in the UK, those of you abroad, and particularly those across the pond in the States, might say Nike as opposed to Nike, and Adidas instead of Adidas. But regardless, this logo itself is one of the most highly recognised brands internationally, and it's known all across the world. We were first approached by Marion Noble from a company called Studio Juice, and they've come across our website online, and came to us with the project of creating a large trainer for a conference exhibition. The idea was that members of the conference are invited up to tag, spray, draw on, and personalise the shoe with their own mark of graffiti as an interactive piece of sculpture. The trainer featured is an Adidas superstar, and they wanted it left plain white so the graffiti would show up nice and bold. The shoe is to be made 1.5 metres long, with the rest in proportion, so we begin by scaling up using an overhead projector and using a top, side and front on reference. Marion had already sent us images of the shoes, but it's always helpful for Aiden to have a 3D model to work from, so they sent a pair of shoes down to the studio for us to copy from. After cutting the cubist form from a block of polystyrene, Aiden begins carving. He's using the usual nail and wire brushes and sandpapers to smoothen the whole thing down. Aiden makes sure to check the model at all times to ensure that he's always following their design. Though polystyrene is a relatively easy material to take away, this is still a good few hours work just to get a rough but accurate shape of their design. Like many of our sculptures, this was one of those jobs that was only going to be used once, so we needed to keep this cost effective for the client, and that's why it's only being made from polystyrene. This cuts out the process of having a mould made and working in fibreglass, which granted would have been a lot stronger, but would take a lot more time to make, and we know that Marion had a tight deadline. For this job, though we've only quoted for a polystyrene shape with a light plaster render, we really want to show off what we can do with the materials we work with. We always try to go above and beyond with our work to give our clients more than what they've expected, so we're using various materials other than polystyrene to make this as identical to the real shoe as possible. We've used various thicknesses of string for the stitching, and for other areas that needed to be kept really neat, like the lace eyelets, we're using plastic tubes to ensure they're strong and perfectly round. When Aidan first carved this, he was very conscious to give it that real squishiness and that plush leathery look. Details like the crosses on the toe section were made using ordinary bathroom tile spaces, and for a realistic lace look, we're using a glass fibre ribbon. We paid attention to the client's brief about how even the way in which the laces are threaded need to be accurate. It's small details like this that we think really stand out if they're wrong, and really make the difference if they're right. Much like music, you don't need to know a lot about the technicalities to know when you've heard a bum note, and we think it works the same way with art and sculpture. When something is not quite executed correctly, you can often tell straight away. A lot of these details would probably have been impossible to make just from polystyrene, but Adidas is a high quality brand, so we wanted to give them a high quality product. We always like to take a couple of finished shots of the sculptures before they leave the workshop, but our client was able to send us through some images of the shoe being used on location. Here it is now, exhibiting Adidas's choice of 50 colours of trainer. It's being tagged with felt tip pens, people leaving their marks, hashtagging pages, and generally writing silly messages, and using the shoe as an interactive piece of sculpture. We like seeing the pieces we make being enjoyed, so it was really nice to create this for Adidas. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.